Hey everybody, welcome to the linuxin.com. In today's video, we are going to talk about regular expressions in Python. So if you go to the Linux hit website, there is an article um, written as regular expressions in Python. So it is written by me. So I'm going to follow along. And uh, this video is actually uh, the description and the implementation of this article. So first of all, what is a regular expression? Have you ever been to Facebook, Microsoft, or you know their websites? So the, the idea is that when you're putting your email, you cannot put there your name, or you cannot put any number, or you cannot put your address there, right? It would give you an error. It would only accept email. So how do they do that? Simple, by using regular expressions, right? So regular expression is basically a name of creating a convention that you cannot go against. Okay, so same thing goes for the password field. They are, they are gonna uh, say that you cannot go ahead uh, of the eight characters or seven characters or they restrict you uh, to put some specific character number and an alphabet only then your password is going to be accepted so that is the convention that you create by using regex or regular expressions got it so you know uh, you would see things like this the question mark dot and these all the characters that you would that you might see in um, regular expressions okay so we're going to discuss that we're going to see that uh, here are uh, few things uh, or a few examples or the patterns that uh, you would come across okay if, while working with the regular expression no matter which programming language you're working in uh, the regular expressions uh, for uh, the regular expressions are same for almost everyone every programming language okay so now if you take a look here uh, it's in inside the brackets we have a capital P and a small p it means that at one time it, there is going to be one p and either it could be smaller one lower one or it could be a higher one or upper one okay so match this pattern if you put this pattern in uh, the place of regex or where you are going to put your regex if you put this thing there including this you know bracket so it is only going to accept Python with a uh, with an upper P and Python with the or Python with a smaller P. So imagine it is like the email box. So you have a Python box, right? So only Python with a smaller P or a larger P, right? Whatever. So the same thing is gonna happen here with the tubes. Imagine that there is a box like the email box, and it is going to accept only two inputs because of this regex. All right. A similar thing is for the vowels you know it is only going to accept lowercase vowels then numbers it is only going to accept numbers the digits okay 0 to 9 it is only going to accept lowercase okay it is only going to accept the capital case it is going to accept the lowercase capital case and the digit okay so here other than vowels okay small vowels if they come it would not accept if they do not come if you do not write them in the input it would accept so that is the regex so it means that no digit okay because this thing is not this thing represents not then you have a dot it means match any character except new line okay then you have slash small d and the capital d small small d means match any digit okay and the capital d means match a non-digit all right so then you have slash s which means that match white spaces and slash capital s mean match non-white spaces all right so slash capital a means match the beginning of the string and the slash capital z mean match the end of the string all right then we have slash w which means match the word characters and the slash w means match non-word characters all right uh, then we have three dots inside the brackets which means match any single character in the bracket okay then we have not along with these three dots inside the bracket which means match any single character not 
in brackets all right then we have dollar sign which means the end of the line and then we have only not thing which means match the beginning of the line okay all right so the idea is the pattern is basically the regex the uh, the the pattern that you put inside like right now if you take a look this is a pattern slash s or this is a pattern that you have specified right so according to this your uh, regex or your input is gonna work okay so according uh, on base of that you're going to decide that either you are going to accept this input or you are going to reject it okay so now what you're gonna do this is a this is basically a pattern and the string you know what a string is you know a string which could be matched or searched in a sentence like it's it could be you know it could be an input that you're writing down here from the keyboard right so that is basically a string so uh, we have two functions in regex in python that we are going to discuss one is the match function the other one is the search function okay we have these two examples uh, you know in our article so we're going to take a look on that so first of all um, this is the example of the match function uh, so what we are going to do that we are going to open up the text editor we hit enter and I'm going to explain to you the code that we are going to copy from the article. Okay, you can, you know, you can view this article on the Linux and website. Um, we're also going to put the link in the description of this article. Okay, so, you know, I paste it. Uh, remember one thing that uh, make sure that on your Linux system you have installed a regex library. Okay, if you don't have that, it's not going to work. So import okay everything is fine i think we need to change these double quotes because for some reason on the website these double quotes have appeared differently and as i told you that python takes indentation very seriously so uh, you know it is very very crucial that you uh, actually change uh, the indentation you take care of the indentation right so right now I'm taking care of the indentation okay so it's not actually Z it's I think it's K there must have been a typo yes so um, okay I think uh, we are pretty much done here let me just change these uh, codes because when you're copying from the website uh, there must have been a different font there so that's why their double quotes are different but in python is going to accept these double quotes okay so make sure of that so we save it uh we say it, save it on the desktop in the python program folder by the name of let's say regex in python okay dot py got it we save it um and i think we are pretty much done here we we can run this program but first of all let me explain you the code what it's what is happening here so in the first line what we are doing we are importing re it means that you're importing the regular expression uh, from the library that you have already installed in your system okay so it is going to basically take that library or take that specific class and we are going to use it in our code obviously there is no point of importing uh, if you're not using it right so let's see where we are using it actually so re you can see here re dot match okay so this is a match function which exists inside the re library or inside the re class we are actually taking we are we are saying hey re take this take this function which is dot dot match function app uh, which is going to take two arguments uh, the number one argument is going to be the pattern which you want to match and the other one is going to be the element okay so i think there is a small let's say uh affection effect affection act and the fiction programming so we want the pattern with this this sort of things that the first word that we're going to print it's going to start with a the second word it's going to start with a as well okay so this is an array first of all and it this array has like three um elements or the three values you can say the first one is affection effect the second one is affection act 
the third one is the faction programming okay so then you have a for loop for element in array list so what it is gonna do that it is going to take this array with three elements um, and what it is gonna do that it is going to basically loop through all of them so, so in the first loop it is going to take the first element which is affection effect and it is going to match it with the pattern okay then it is going to come again it is going to take the second element and it is going to match the affection act and it, and finally it is going to take the third element and it is going to match it using this for loop okay so this element variable is going to store all these three values one by one okay so now uh, the thing is that once you have done it this match thing this is a pattern okay so uh, let's let, let me tell you that a a means that a is as it is like a is the lowercase letter which is right here and after a i don't care what what comes like w plus w plus means that it has to be a word okay same case here a a a must be there otherwise i don't care what word is here so w w plus means word okay if a capital w is here it means a non word so uh, i could have you know written here slash s white space for white space but i have written slash word obviously this space is also a non word character so that is why this this is the pattern okay this is the pattern that i wrote you could you could wrote your pattern according to your desire or according to your understanding okay so remember that match function is going to take pattern as the one argument and then the second argument is going to be uh, the input or the match thing okay so this is this element this, these are all these are our three uh, inputs okay so then we have if k it's, it's going to act like a boolean so uh, if k means that uh, we are going to ask if we really have this thing like k variable okay uh, if we have something in it stored or not so we we really have something inside the k variable okay then we have print print function which is going to be k dot groups okay so k uh, k is this variable okay we are taking that and we we are you know calling dot groups function which is basically going to uh, create a group of those words that basically we are going to extract through regex okay so now what we're going to do we're going to save it and we are going to open up our terminal here um, remember this was uh, the match function okay so we are matching our regex so we go here we open up the terminal and we write here let me check yes it exists so we are going to write here python dot slash regex in python dot py we hit enter and yes you can see on the output we have affection effect and the affection act okay it didn't uh, actually okay it didn't actually take this one affection programming because the second word does not start with does not start with a okay so that's why it has completely ignored it because that's what our regex is saying right both of them has to start with a okay so now um, I hope you have uh, understood it uh, now we are going to do the second example which is basically related to search uh, in which we are also going to use regex and a very simple regex not very complicated uh, but according to your desire you can make it as complicated as you want but we are teaching you very simple very simple concepts so you so that you can get an idea that what you have to do when you're working with regex all right so uh, what we're gonna do that for the search function we're just going to copy this thing here okay and um, let's just replace th replace this code okay um, okay so we change the quotes because of the font because the font on website is different so this 
text editor has these double quotes that it is going to use we put double quotes here and definitely remember to uh, you know remember to indent the code if you do not intend in indent the code you know it is going to cause you trouble okay python loves indentation and if you don't have indentation in your code it is going to give you an error so i think yes that's pretty much it so what we are doing that in the first line we are importing re which is a library or a class as we have discussed before and we have used it here re dot search now search is the method in the re class or in the re library from where it is extracting that method and it is going to take two um, arguments the number one argument is the pattern the second argument is the input okay so we have given the input as a string documentation new okay so now what we are doing that we are telling uh, it that after ta whatever it is we don't care dot static means whatever so it is going to display just that so if I, I if i would be specific so from here to here it is going to show you um, on the output so then we have an if condition if condition means if we means that if we has any variable right so like it could happen that uh, documentation a new you, you write here something which doesn't actually meet so in that case we would be empty right so if we would be false then it is not at all going to print anything right so now in this case obviously we would v is going to be true so it is going to execute this if statement and certainly uh, whatever is behind whatever is under this if statement okay so we save it we come back uh, and we try to run it again um okay python dot slash redx in python dot py okay it it tells me there is some sort of syntax error let me check it out i think we have done pretty much okay there is one thing uh plus okay so you need to have uh, this plus here because we want to separate the, uh, these two things from each other, right? Uh, if you're not gonna put in plus here, it is going to give you some sort of error. And I think in our article, we have some sort of mistake. So I'll make sure that we update that as well, okay? So now uh, we save it, we come back to the terminal and we write here again, python dot slash redx in python dot py we hit enter and you can see the result is this one this thing okay as i have explained so what if we change the pattern let's say we change the pattern as let's say c okay so now after c c included it's going to show us that so we come back here we clear it and we write here again python dot slash regex in python dot py hit enter and you can see it says c u m e n t a t i o n capital n e w okay so i hope you have got the point i hope you have learned something new in this video uh, for for written articles please vis visit our website linuxin.com um, and if you have any questions, ask us in the comments below. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care.